Hey everybody, it's Nick with the MP2C in partnership with the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. We're back again with another short informative video. Today's video is about how the COVID-19 or coronavirus spreads. Um, all of our information is obtained from the World Health Organization and we're just going to kind of, you know, parse it down and, and put it into layman's terms, right? So to put it simply, uh, the COVID-19 virus is spread from a carrier of the virus. Obviously, you have to have the virus to spread it to uh, another person. Um, whether you are confirmed or not, irrelevant, you have to have the virus to spread it, right? So uh, a carrier of the virus will uh, expel small droplets from their nose or mouth through coughing, sneezing, breathing heavy, something like that. Um, and then those droplets will then fall onto another object or surface. Um, and then, you know, we're getting different information that's coming out. This information is not from the World Health Organization, but it is suspected that uh, the virus airborne can survive for about 30 minutes on stainless steel, like two days, on plastics, three days. That science is still kind of up in the air right now. But essentially, uh, those droplets will fall onto a surface and then another non-infected person will come in contact with that surface. Um, our, our hands and our skin are very good barriers to foreign objects, right? Um, they're also very good incubators and it's good, they're, they're very good at transmitting uh, bacteria and viruses, stuff like that, that are on our hands, right? So when a non-infected person touches an infected surface and then touches their eyes, nose, mouth, whatever, um, they can then spread that virus and introduce it into their body. Uh, another thing of note, another way that people can uh, contract the virus, sorry. Another way that somebody can contract the virus is uh, if they breathe in droplets from an infected person, right? So that's why we're trying to maintain that social distancing. Uh, the World Health Organization recommends a minimum of one meter, which is three feet. Other organizations are pushing for three meters or more, which is nine feet. Um, so basically, if somebody coughs or sneezes, doesn't protect themselves, doesn't cough into a tissue, and you are in close proximity and breathe in those droplets, you can then contract that virus as well. Um, again, as I said in our previous video, these videos are not made to uh, increase your anxiety or to, to scare you, just simply an educational video. Um, if you are near somebody who is coughing, sneezing, whatever, please keep in mind it is allergy season. That does not mean they have the coronavirus. Um, it does mean do your best to be prepared, wash your hands regularly, um, look for our next video. We talk about uh, preventive measures that you can take and recommendations and advice for the public from the World Health Organization. So that's going to talk about those prevention and mitigation measures, right? Um, again, please support your local library, support the, the local businesses in your community if they're not already shut down. Um, as I said in our previous video, the library is putting out amazing videos that help entertain your children and help promote reading. There are a ton of free resources that help your kids uh, continue to be educated while they're not in school. If you have any questions, comments about those programs, please reach out by phone to the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. Drop us a message on Facebook at EMP2C, and we'll be sure to get those resources out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.